Hey guys, it's Edie, your video and YouTube strategist. And I'm coming in today with another video about a video app that you can use in order to create videos for your business. This app is called Extempore and it's a video teleprompter app and it's coming up next. All right, so before we get started, if you find this video helpful, don't forget to like it. And as always, click the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you'll be alerted every time I post a new video. So let's get into this, shall we? So this is the home welcome page for Extempore. So you wanna log into your account. And the first thing that you're going to be greeted with is a blank page that says, write your first story. So in Extempore, stories are the equivalent to scripts. They mean the same thing. So you click on the button, write your first story. And then here you're able to enter in your headline or the title for your video. So in this example, we're going to type title this, how to start a successful virtual assistant career. This is actually a script from one of my clients and I am not gonna free type, but you can in this space. I'm going to instead take the lazy route and cut and paste my content into this box here. So I'm really just scrolling back up to clean it up a little bit. I'm removing the duplicate uh, title that's in the first line. And once it looks the way that you want it to look, you can cut um, whatever excess verbiage you want to cut out. You want to then save your story. So once you've finished saving your story, your story is now going to be located under the tab, your stories. Now there are two additional ways that you can create your scripts slash stories within Extempore on the desktop. And the next way is you click on write a story. You're gonna title it again. You're gonna enter into your headline, but this time we're going to paste the content from an existing URL. So this is a blog post that I did last year or the year before last, and I'm going to type in or paste in the URL, and then I'm going to fetch it so that it can pull in all of the information and this is how that page is going to look. So now you have the opportunity to choose what content you want specifically from the left. All of the content that's on the left, it's here from my blog post. So you just click on every single paragraph. Anytime there's blank space, it creates a new paragraph in those sections. You can bring over as the content that you want to create for your new story. Now the caveat with this method, as quick and easy as this seems, it is limiting based on the amount of content that's on your blog post will determine how much you're going to be able to actually bring over. So as I'm going through this, I am going to then hit my limit. And it seems like the limit is 20 paragraphs or sections. Once you hit 20, you cannot add anymore. When you're finished, all you need to do is hit save story. Your, save, your story has been saved. You can review the story if you wanna put in some spaces and things of that nature. Otherwise, you can leave it as is. And when you go back to your stories, you can see that your story has been added to the library. Now the third way is by going under the welcome user tab and going to content generator. And from here, we're going to again, put in our URL and it's going to grab all of the content, but it makes it a lot easier for us to be able to create our content. So from here, you can just clean it up in terms of getting rid of any excess information that you don't need because this pulls in everything from the pages that are listed on your website to whatever tags or uh, bookmarks or whatever it is that's on your page on your website is going to be pulled in from this method. So you want to go through and make sure that you've cleaned all of that up. And while you're doing that, you can do all the necessary spacing um, from separating titles and paragraphs from each other so that it just looks a little bit more cohesive. So here I'm getting rid of um, some tags and looks like that's about it. So now I'm actually going to get rid of the headings 
right now and so now we're ready so I'm going to copy and then I'm going to paste this into my story so I'm going to go back over to write a story or write story and I'm going to paste my content in there and then I'm actually just going to pull for the title I'm going to scroll back up and just pull like the first few words from this as my new title And so now this one is finished. So this takes a couple more extra steps, but we're going to save the story. And then again, when you go to your stories, you will see that the story has actually been saved. If you want to edit again, you just can click on the edit. You can then do whatever you need to do and then save that story back to your homepage of stories. Now let's talk about using it on your smartphone. You have to download the app from the App Store or Google Play and once it's on your phone you want to click on the app so that you can activate it. You'll have to log in and once you've logged in you can go to your stories and you can see whatever stories were existing on your website you will find them on your app. So from here you can edit your stories any existing stories that you had you can certainly edit them if you need to, but then you can also create your story on your phone. Now, this is the fourth way that you can create content using Extempore. So this way we will come in the same way, title our story or our script in whatever way that we need to. And as you can see, this looks very similar to the way that it does on your desktop. But the difference is, is when you get to crafting your story, when you click on that space, you can type it or you can click on your microphone on your phone and then basically be able to recite it. So you can say this is a test to determine whether or not I would be able to use the mic on my iPhone to transcribe my scripts in the speech to text app extempore period new line it seems like it works perfectly period new line end of test so once you're finished, you want to save your story and then you can see that it's actually been saved to your phone. And there it is. Again, if you want to edit, we're going to edit the first one. If you wanted to edit the story, you could just click on the edit story button. It allows you to then make any changes. You can delete, you can add, you can do whatever it is that you need to do when you're finished. You want to save your story. And then the next place that you can go to is next to edit my story is my takes. And for my takes, this is how you film your uh, story so or your script. So as you can see, the script is on the screen and you can see me in the background. So this is where you're ready to now uh, start to record. So when you're ready, all you would need to do is click on the red button that allows you to record. And the cool thing about this too is that you can record whether the camera is facing towards you or away from you. And you can still have the script. Now let's go over the bottom icons. The first one, asks basically whether you want the recording to stop when your script ends. So if you want it to automatically stop, then you would just need to activate that in order for it to stop recording when your script ends. The HQ is the quality, the resolution. You have choices between 480p, 720p, and 1080p. So it's set automatically to 1080p. Then you want to change your font size. You can make your font size bigger or you can position your text to be centered, left, or right aligned. Now, if you're doing it in vertical, you wanna have it centered. However, if you are going to do it landscape, I pers personally prefer for it to be left aligned because that's where the camera's eye is on the left side of your phone. Then you can do the speeding, the speed, how fast is the text going to scroll? And you won't know until you hit the record button 
whether the speed is accurate, but once you've hit the record button, you'll see whether it's fast enough or not, and then you'll be able to adjust accordingly. So I'm just going to set it right now and do a test. It's counting you down. And once you start recording, it will start to move. And this pace looks like it's a good pace for me to be able to read and not feel like I'm out of breath or not be too slow where it seems like I'm just waiting forever to speak. When you are finished, then all you need to do is hit the red button again to stop and your video has been recorded. If you want to trim your video, they call this editing. I call it simply trimming. Um, you can then click on the video and you can play it first and foremost, but then you can style your video. And basically what styling your video means is do you want to have this and it does give you a warning about your preview screen. So you can just click okay. You can have this as vertical or as square or as a horizontal video. So you can choose what orientation you want for your video before you trim it, if you choose to trim it, because you may not need to. So um, I'm going to choose to square this, and then I am going to see what the trimming is all about. So if you want to trim your video, you can just click on yes, and it opens up the window for you to trim it. And then I just want to get rid of just a little bit of the beginning and I'm going to leave the end pretty much where it is. You click on save and then you have to click on save on the bottom again and it then saves it to your application. So you can see now your edited video is uh, there. And then once you play, the video, then you'll see that it's there as well. From here, you have two choices. You can export it to your YouTube channel if you've connected it, or you can share it from your phone um, to either your messages or to Facebook, or you can save it to your camera roll, or you can upload it to Vimeo or your Dropbox. And that is it. So this is the latest video teleprompter app that I've been able to find, and I hope you guys find it helpful and interesting as well. Take care. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks.